Hello once again, this is James and welcome to my training videos. We are continuing with our printing in Microsoft Office Pub, uh, applications and this time around we are going to look at how to print in Microsoft PowerPoint. Uh, when you look at this, this is the Microsoft PowerPoint printing dialog box. It will look something of this sort. Notice there are still common features like we've seen in the previous uh, printing dialog boxes for Word and Excel, the print button, the number of copies, the printer name. But now things begin to change a little bit here when you come to the type of documents. Uh, in Word there are documents, in Excel there are sheets, in PowerPoint they are known as slides. So here you can choose the number of slides you want to print. Uh, how do you want your slides to be? In full page slides or a number of slides on a page? Uh, this is the same, one-sided or both-sided, manual or automatic depending on the printing, the collection, uh, the type of printing you want, is it grayscale, among others. So here is still the preview of uh, how your work will look. Here are the number of slides. In this case it's 6 out of 9 slides and the zoom just like in the previous case. So let us go to, uh, let's use this same presentation to see how we can do a printout in PowerPoint. So we can press our control plus P. Uh, notice that you get the same uh, window so this is pretty basic what we've been seeing the copies and now the trick is somewhere around here right about now if we print it will print all the slides but each side filling up a page just like this okay then we have options of also printing a selection the, the current slide or a range maybe one, two, four, or by the way, you can also print jumping pages, you can say one, uh, comma, three, comma, seven. So in this case, it will print slide one, slide three, and slide seven. So if I say one, two, two, or one, two, six, then it will print a range of slides one, two, six. Same applies to Word. You can say one to six pages and to print page one up to six. If you say one comma six, uh, one comma six, it will print page one and print and uh, page six, uh, skipping all the other pages. But now, uh, right about here, we can set how many slides we want on our page. As you can see in outline form. In notes and pages, you can see one slide, you can see two slides. Uh, when I click in this, notice in the preview it will show me that now it will print this and this on the same page. Okay, thereby reducing the number of pages to five. Okay, previously, uh, when it was one slide or full page slides, there were nine what? slides. If I came and I say two slides, it now says to be putting it in this way and I'll have a maximum of five slides when I print, kind of saving the papers. If I say three slides, it will look something like this, giving you a summary overview of this side, and uh, there I'll have only three slides, I mean three papers, onto which my nine slides would fit. So if I went and increased, this is how it will look, though the slides will be shrunk a bit, it will be smaller, but you still have reduced the pages to three. Now, if I say six slides, I'll only have two pages. You see, I'll have six on the first slide, then I'll have on the three on the second slide. So that is the science just in PowerPoint, how we print the work. Then the other interesting bit is uh, you can 
uh, specify the type of uh, printing you want to do with your work as you've seen you slide it out depending on what you want to print but notice how there is a note that the more slides you put on a page it will the printer will have to adjust the work to fit and therefore uh, the size of the work might become smaller depending on how much information you have and it might not be very clear for uh, the readers to see it so you have to keep that in mind that the more you increase the slides the more uh, the smaller the size of the text will become then here you can print in color black and white in grayscale depending on what you want to do so basically that is how we print it powerpoint as i said some of the features remain the same but a few changes are made depending on the application in which you are supposed to print so thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe see you in the next video